So in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the arms. Now, the arms are normally a great indication of whether somebody is moving well through the golf ball or if they're moving pretty poorly. And although there are kind of exemptions and examples of certain professional golfers out there who sort of bend their arms a little bit, and there are reasons, obviously, for this, but for a professional golfer, it's completely different to what we see with amateur golfers. Amateur golfers that have, you know, bending in the arms is because they're quite literally pulling the club up through this impact area, and it's something that we really don't want to be doing. So what we're going to be trying to concentrate on is how do we get these arms working nice and straight through the golf ball, particularly as a little bit of a drill and an exercise. So what you'll sort of notice is whether you videoed your, your, your shots or whether you finish your swing, you'll kind of notice the way your hands finish very close towards your body. Or if you have videoed your golf swing, you'll sort of notice the way you're hitting it with more of a sort of scooping slash flicking action. And that's something that you want to eradicate. So the easiest way you're going to do this is, well, two. First thing you need to do is concentrate on keeping your arms dead straight. Now, for a lot of golfers, when I mention this to them as an exercise, they find it incredibly difficult. They find it very hard to, to swing through the ball, keeping their arms straight, which is also an indication that you don't really know how to pivot, meaning you don't really know how to move through the ball. And it's a really easy way to solve it. And it's, the answer is just use your eyes and your head. So make a few practice swings where you just allow your head to get, move in the direction where you're going to be swinging the club. And you'll find that as you let your head move, your spine will have more freedom to be able to rotate. And then you'll notice as you, your spine can rotate, then your arms can stay straight as you swing through. So of course, when, when it comes to actually hitting some shots, you're going to have to test um, your sort of consciousness and awareness of still having that ability to keep your arms straight. But it's a skill that you certainly wanna be practicing. Now, the way I tend to do it with students, whether it's online lessons or whether it's people that come to visit for face-to-face -face lessons, is I tend to just sort of add an element, an element of variety to how they're practicing. So it might be a case of saying, well, what we'll do is for, before every shot, we'll do three practice swings where we just concentrate on head moving through, arms staying through like so, and then we'll hit a shot very, very slowly. And then what we'll do on the next three practice swings, we'll try and do them much faster so again you can see the way this is just a very short swing so again and then hit it a little harder like so and then what you'd start to do is you would then start to exaggerate it so then the question is instead of your head just moving through towards the target let your head look up towards the ceiling and again what you'll notice is how much easier it is to keep your arms moving up like so and then you can kind of do three practice swings where you let your head move up now the thing for most golfers this will feel like you can't actually strike the golf ball but you'll be surprised because the hitting area is very much an upward motion. And the thing for most amateur golfers is you treat it as too much of a downward hitting motion, uh, especially with the arms tend to move this sort of way, which is why you get that flicky and scoopy instead of more upward. So again, you can, you can add the variety. So it'd be a case of doing three practice swings again, quite slowly, building your way through it, hit a shot pretty gently, almost in sort of slow motion action like so. And then go back to the three fast swings. One, two, three. Okay, and then hit a shot. Because one of the things that I'm going to keep, oh, I'm bent a little on that one, but one of the things, and that will be one of the things that you'll start to notice is the more that you do practice swings correctly, the more you'll become aware when you're doing things incorrectly. And it's strange when it comes to learning, although we kind of know it's the, the gospel rule, it's like you will learn from mistakes, but you're only going to notice your mistakes if you become more aware by sort of practicing the right thing. And then you go back into the head up one, one, two, three, like so. And then try and hit the ball and just let your arms go up. And as you can see here, as I'm sort of talking to you, I could even perform the, the exercise slightly better myself. But that's the general notion. So one of the things that I will talk about in the channel moving forward is more how we're supposed to practice and do a little bit more live sessions. But what I wanted to do in this video is, again, I didn't want to get too distracted away from, you know, having straight arms in the golf swing, particularly as a, a skill to be able to demonstrate is vital, in my opinion. Because um, whether it's something that you feel that you really need, what I've tried to explain in this video is you can only get straight arms with a decent pivot. But when it comes to distance control, maybe for more advanced golfers, and you don't necessarily want to hit it full, 
keeping your arm straight kind of eliminates a lot of this sort of whipping the club through type motion. So it gives you a huge amount of control and it's a really good skill to learn to have. So it's a great indication of a good impact because it will force you to move your head better through the ball. Uh, sorry, your body moves your head better through the ball like so. And that gives you the ability to keep the arm straight. So hopefully it will help a lot of you guys out. See you soon.